Atlant is new and different. Atlant can operate in almost all conditions, from minus 50 degrees to plus 50 degrees Celsius, and in winds up to 70 knots, and in rain, snow, or any other weather. Atlant can land on any reasonably flat surface. When landing on the ground, it deploys its self-mooring system to anchor the aircraft in one place. It requires no infrastructure, hangar, mast or ground crew at its destination. The Atlant 100 can carry up to 60 metric tons. The much larger Atlant 300 can carry up to 150 metric tons. Looking more closely at the Atlant 100, the cargo bay is enormous. It is up to 36 by 11 by 7 meters in dimension, totaling 2,400 cubic meters. If we look at other large cargo aircraft by comparison, you will see that they are all dwarfed by the Atlant 100. For outsized cargo, such as turbine blades up to 100 meters in length, these can be externally mounted on the Atlant's hull. We've seen Atlant's ground anchors, but Atlant can also operate from water, even in waves of up to two meters high. The Atlant's water mooring system works by lowering an empty tube into the water, which fills with water, thereby creating a sea anchor that keeps the aircraft stable. Atlant's many features make it the most effective aerial rescue vehicle. It can deploy to a disaster area very quickly, carrying vital equipment and goods to the area of the disaster. It can then be used as both a passenger module to accommodate up to 105 people in the Atlant 100 to evacuate them from a disaster area, as well as carrying freight at the same time, and a field hospital built into the aircraft, with operating facilities, perhaps an MRI, and bed spaces for up to 24 intensive care patients. One advantage for using the Atlant for such medical facilities is the lack of noise and vibration in flight. A number of different types of module can be combined depending on the mission needs. The main purpose behind the Atlant design is to deliver cargo to difficult to reach areas. An example of that is the delivery of fuel into remote parts of Africa. The Atlant has onboard winches and cranes and can be loaded either using them or a ramp. The Atlant is VTOL capable. For this type of VTOL operation, three to four times more power is needed for a short period of time. Besides the main power sources, which are diesel generator sets and fuel cells, for VTOL operations we use high capacity battery packs designed for very rapid discharge. As you can see during the vertical phase of flight, power is being put into the power distribution system from the hydrogen fuel cells, from the batteries, and from the diesel generator sets, all at the same time. However, when we transition to horizontal flight, the diesel generator sets and the hydrogen fuel cells put power into the power distribution system, and it's used by the main drive propulsors, but it also is used to charge the batteries. To ensure that the airship remains in balance during horizontal flight, we use both hydrogen to power the hydrogen fuel cells and diesel or jet fuel to power diesel generator sets. We call it the dual fuel ballasting system, the DFBS. By using this combination of fuels, we keep the airship in balance because as we use hydrogen in the hydrogen fuel cells, the amount of lift reduces concurrently with the weight of the aircraft reducing as we burn jet fuel or diesel. The footprint for each tonne kilometre is reduced by up to 70% compared to traditional cargo aeroplanes and up to four times less carbon footprint compared to the most efficient helicopters in service today. These aircraft will truly revolutionise our skies. Thank you.